hey guys down here and welcome back to another video and if you click this video you have probably know that in android p which is the latest addition to android has a feature called rotation suggestion and this is how it looks like so when you have rotation lock on in android p and you rotate the display anyway it'll give you a little button in the corner just in case you want to manually rotate what you're doing this one time that is handy it's a really neat feature and it is only available in Android P. However, there is an app which do the same thing for all the versions of Android. There is a bunch of apps like this in Play Store but I think this is the best. So first install the application, link will be in the description. By the time I download this application, it has 4.5 star rating which is a really good sign. After installing, open the app and inside the app there is a master switch at the top so let's enable that. So as you can see there is a floating button at the bottom left corner of the app to rotate the display which will work the same way as in Android P rotation suggestion. Before testing this out let me go to the settings of the app. First there is an option to hide the floating button for each app useful if this annoys you while gaming or in similar situation. Second there is an option to reset rotation after active app is changed. But some reason it's not working on my device and it asks for device accessibility permission. So I recommend you to turn this feature off if it's not working on your device. Below that there is a setting to set time before disappearing the floating button. By default it's 3 seconds and I think it's perfect and below that you can change the color size and transparency of button. I change the color to more grayish because there is a chance to miss this button in white background and I left everything else to default. Below that you can donate and give feedback to the developer. And if you scroll all the way to the top, there is an option to hide the running in background notification if it annoys you. To do this we need an external app. I already made a video about hiding this running in background notification so you can check that out if you want. And if this app is turning off itself, you can fix that by clicking this option. Alright, now I will show you how this works. So as you can see the rotation is locked and I'm in YouTube app and when I rotate the device the floating rotation button appears and I can click to get into the landscape mode. So that's it for this video and I'm definitely gonna keep this app in my phone until I get Android P. Like if you like it, subscribe if you want to see more smartphone related content in future. And if you want to continue watching, you can click this video to know why 32GB memory card is not actually 32GB. So once again. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next one.